Hey folks, thanks so much for tuning in. Have you always wanted to play Hotel California, but you thought it was too complicated? I mean, there's like five different guitar parts in this song. But stick around, I'm going to show you an easy way to play it. I'm going to show you how to pick the intro, a strum pattern that sounds great, so you can play this great song too. Welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin, and Maggie and I are really excited to show this one to you today, so let's get to it. So the first thing you'll need to do for this song is put a capo on your second fret. I'm a big fan of capos. I use them all the time with my members. I think it's a tool that makes things easy. And in this song, it's going to allow us to play a lot of open chords. So slap that capo onto the second fret. And then we're going to go through the chords here. And they, there's quite a bit, but don't let them all scare you away because there's going to be a pattern that they go in that you can learn. The first chord is going to be an A minor chord. The second one is going to be an E7. Those sound great together. And for this E7 chord, just remember it this way. Here's a regular E chord shape. Just lift up that ring finger. And you have the E7 shape. Then we have a G. You can already hear the song kind of start getting shape here. Then we have a D. Then we have an F chord. And don't turn off the video here. If you've not played an F chord before or you have some trouble with it, I'll show you an, a different way you can play it and still sound good. But if you can manage the bar chord version, it sounds nice and deep and full. Then we have a C. A D minor. And an E. So those are the chords you'll need to know. And if you'd like a much more detailed version of uh, the chords, um, I've got a great lesson for you. The first eight chords you should learn when you're beginning guitar. Uh, Vic will leave a link in the description below. You can also check it out here once you're finished with this lesson. The, uh, the pattern they go in is uh, there's actually just three different progressions you'll need to kind of memorize and work on. So uh, let's start with this intro. There is a ton of amazing stuff happening in this song, and there's a lot of different guitar parts. And um, this is gonna be a version you can play just solo, acoustic guitar, by yourself. Uh, the other day, Vicky and I were out at the park. We like to get a little change of scenery every once in a while. Recorded a few little snippets, and I was playing this version, and even though it's not exactly like a record, folks will recognize it, and they'll recognize it when you play it too. So for this really intricate opening, uh, we're going to break it down into some simple steps here. It starts on an A minor, and we're going to we're going to do what's called an arpeggio, which is a very fancy word for picking individual strings of a chord. So for the intro, start with this A minor, and you're going to start here on the fifth string, and you're going to pick this pattern. If I was counting this in my head, I just kind of go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're not doing anything fancy. We're going down the strings and back up. So it's string five, four, three, two, one. Then a little pause, two, three. And then we go to this E7 chord. And we're just going to do the same kind of idea. But this E7, you're going to start here on the sixth string. So you're going to pick one, two, three, four, five, which is strings, six, five, four, three, two. And then that's kind of the pattern you're gonna use for this whole intro. We go to this G chord. It gets the same pattern as that A minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna start here on the sixth string for this G. Same idea as the A minor. One, two, three, four, five is the first string and then six seven is strings two and three so strings two and three always in that little pattern and then from that g you play the d we're going to start here on this uh for this d chord we're going to start here on the fifth string actually and just go one two three four five 
strings, five, four, three, two, one. So from the top of this first run through, E7, then you switch to that G, and D. So just kind of remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven is always strings two, three. And the five is always on that high E string. Okay? Then we get into uh, the, so that's the first uh, progression to learn. A minor, E7, G, and D. Then we get to this chord progression, which is repeated uh, in a couple of different parts. So once you learn this progression, you're going to use it in both the verse, which we're working on now, and the chorus. Okay? So we go to an F chord. Now, if you can play that F chord as a bar, it gets the same idea as that A minor and that um, uh, G. And if you are not going to play that as a bar chord, you can play it this way. Uh, let's just leave those fingers down. Instead of barring that entire fret here with your index finger, you're going to just bar strings one and two on the first fret. So you can play it that way. And it's the same kind of idea and pattern as that A minor and that um, G get. So you have this fifth string here if you're going to play it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you go to a C. One, two, three, four, five. Just make sure you start that C chord on the fifth string. And then we go to a D minor. And that one's going to get the same idea of the pattern, but we're going to start here on the fourth string. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to play the first string again. Five, six, seven. And then end on that E. gets played from the sixth string six five four three two if you're counting it one two three four five so now it's time for you to relax and learn some guitar and play along with me I'll play this from the top and I'll go slow and kind of talk through it as we go so we're gonna start with that a minor and we're gonna pick that intro starting here on the fifth string one two three four five six seven e7 starting on the sixth string Go to the G, starting on the sixth string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we end on that D chord. F. Followed by the C. And that one you just play C, fifth string down to the first. D minor, starting on that fourth string which means playing that first string twice in the pattern, two, three, and then ending on that E. So now let's talk about the verse uh, after the intro. So we're gonna be using this same chord progression, but now we're done kind of picking that intro, the beginner version of the picking pattern there, and we're going to strum the rest of this song. I'm gonna show you kind of where to start if you're just beginning. And remember, the chord progression is uh, A minor, E7, G, D, F, or F, C, D minor, E. Now, if you are just starting out to play the guitar or you're pretty new at it, I recommend that you follow this strum pattern. We're going to do just all down strums, and they're going to be eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. Each of these chords get one of those patterns. Da da da. -da. G. D. F and two and. And C and two and three and four and D minor and three and four and E and two and three and four and. Whew, 
can't believe I just counted all that without <laughs> breathing. So some good lungs here at the old Relax and Learn guitar. So start with that. You can use that strum pattern all the way through the song, and the verse is those that same chord progression as the intro. Now, if you want to kind of bump it up a little bit, the way I was playing this at the beginning of the uh, lesson here. It's a down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. If you're counting it, it would be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now this one changes things a bit because you're gonna put two patterns per chord instead of one pattern per chord like we were with that first pattern. So we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and E7. chords not sound amazing. Do you remember which, uh, Vic, do you remember which member asked for this lesson? When we are? Chuck. Chuck, you picked a good one. <laughs> so we have a, a full access membership. Uh, if you'd like more information about that option, you can check out the link in the description below. He loves this song. Yeah, this is such a good song. And again, uh, learning it this way, people will still recognize it, still want to sing along with it. So... So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now we get into the chorus. Da, 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 da. Now it does start on that big hairy F chord. Don't let it scare you away. So we've learned uh, two kind of chord progression patterns so far. The A minor, the E7, the G, and the D which is the first part of the verse. Now we're gonna do, and then we learned F, C, D minor, and E. Now the third and final uh, progression or chord pattern, whatever you wanna call it, that you'll need to learn for this song is gonna be an F. We're gonna use the same strum pattern here. You can either do those eighth notes, da -da 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 -da, or that I prefer this one. Then it goes to a C. And if you're all paying attention out there, you'll notice that that F is always followed by a C chord in this song. And then it goes to an E. And an A minor. And that's the uh, only other pattern you got to remember for the song because the chorus ends the same way as the verse with the F followed by what? C. And then it's back to that D minor. You can find this here, E. And all those things together that simplified picking version, those strum patterns. You can play this amazing Eagles song and it's gonna sound great. You can amaze your friends and family or, you know, hang out at the park <laughs> and uh, see who recognizes it. When you're done with this one, you can check out another amazing Eagles song. It is Best of My Love and you can check it out right here. Uh, Vicki, Maggie, and I very much appreciate and thank you very much for your support here on YouTube. Until the next lesson, remember you're never too old to learn, and we'll see you then. Mm -hmm.